Hey everybody and welcome to Robin's house. Today I've got some Cricut capers for you today and I wanted to go over how to make this image a little easier to print and a little easier to use again. This is especially important if you're printing something several times uh, because you don't want to, it isn't very fun to deal with each of these individual letters. So what I did in the June Scrap with Robin is I got a box and I was going to put this image in a four by four box on my scrapbook page. So I'm gonna have a box and I'm gonna turn it white because it will be printed white when I finally use it. Now I can already see that my image is much too big to fit in that box. So I'm going to select, group them all up together and then literally group them together. And I'm gonna shrink this one. I'm just gonna, how about 3.75? And then, so now it fits in the box. And then just to make things a little easier, I'm also gonna make my screen a little bit larger so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So now, even though this is four by four, you can see it. So the main thing I wanna do now is I'm gonna select all my items and I'm gonna ungroup them again, which gets them all separate. And I'm not gonna deal with these pieces right now. I'm um, I'm gonna undo, so control Z, control Z again. Okay, so they should still be, are they, uh, control Z one more time. Okay, they should all be grouped now. Nope, they're not grouped now. Well, I'm just gonna group them. Okay, so now they're all grouped together and they're, we can check and make sure that it fits nicely within a four by four box. And now I'm gonna ungroup them again because I want them separately. So I don't wanna deal with the watermelons of summer right now. I don't wanna deal with the watermelons inside and I don't need to deal with the little smile. So what I want to deal with are the words, are the smiles, and then I'm gonna push shift and click on the box and down here, the slice button has shown up again. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice. And what that is actually doing is slicing everywhere that is overlapping. So that now, since I sliced it, I can take, are the smiles away? I can take this. So this is what got sliced. The edges of this are the smiles is what actually got sliced. And now I have my four by four square with nothing behind it. And so I can easily, um, I'll show you what, you don't need to print off a four by four red square. You can just cut that on your own. On your own. So now you're left with a four by four square that has the, are the smiles missing? So you don't have to have all those individual letters. And now we can put, I'm going to arrange this, send this to back. And now I should be able to put all of my watermelon pieces back into place on this image. And it looks like now how I want it to look. Now you can do the exact same thing with watermelons if you wanted to. And it's the same way you click on the watermelons word, you click on the white square and slice them apart. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps. Happy crafting.